Kiwi Kid. Welcome to another edition of Kiwi Kid. So today we're going to build a sundial. So um, we got this one from Kmart. I think it was about ten or twelve dollars. Yeah. So shall we open it up? Yes. So this yeah. one is designed to work in New Zealand and Australia. And here are our oh, okay. parts. Alright, do you think you can open those? And we've got the most important thing, the instructions. You can't do anything without some instructions. Yeah. You can, but you might not put it together correctly. Alright. You might not. No. Yeah. Okay, so now this one says it's not suitable for children under three due to small parts and a choking hazard. Okay, so look at the first figure. So we need, we've got all these parts, so now we need to put, attach the calendar panel. One and, uh, sorry, this bit here. And you need to attach that to there. Do you think you can do that? Yep, it's in. Okay. So next we need to put one no, of those in. No, you're moving too far ahead. Oh, so we need to do figure number three. So this one is a, do you know what that one's called? Compass. Okay, and what do you think the red part points to? Uh, north. That's right. So I know north is over there right yeah. now. So a compass all, um, does point north. So we put that in. So wait for it and soon it will show us where north is. That's right, there we go. So, um, okay, and now because we're in Auckland, New Zealand, so the time card we need is number 35. So, these ones have all got different um, numbers on it, so we're looking for number 35. Here we go. Do you want to put that one in? Yes. Okay, so, so we've done that part. Now, do you think you can do this part? Mm, Figure yeah. number. So I need this. What to one on, of those? So you need that as well. Oh, this is a little hard. Do you think you can give this to? Tell you what. Might be because we'll try having it go the other way. Hang on. It's not meant to go all the way through, I don't think. Uh, no. So then this part here. So do you know where to put that one? Uh, that, is it this hole? Okay, so insert the large header pointer, number four, which is the bottom part. Mm -hmm. That one in your hand. So into the arc, number seven, this bit here. Through the corresponding angle is on the time card. So the time card is this bit here. So and that's thirty five. Yep. Yeah. So that's sixty five. So twenty five. Okay, so what you might not be able to see on here okay. is that it's actually got some um, numbers on here. So they go up in yeah. increments of ten. So you got 5, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, and 75. So, I don't think it's meant to go that way, so you need to go in from the bottom. That's what it says. Right. And we pop that in there. So that's got to sit like so. And then this is where this part comes in. So, are you going to put that on there? That's so it used um, by the shadow. Okay, so now that we've done that, so place the connected pointer on the base as shown as number six. So our one looks like that. Okay, so to use it, take it outside to where the sunlight is placed, uh, where the sunlight is, and place a unit on a level surface, then fix the position of the sundial by looking at the compass and align the 12 mark on the time card to point north if you're in the northern hemisphere. So we're in the, do you know, do you know which hemisphere we're in? Uh, south. That's right, we're in the southern one. So align the number 12 mark to the south point if you are in the southern hemisphere. 
Okay, so, and then use the month and date pointers on the calendar to indicate today's date. Alright, so okay. we'll give that a go. Welcome back. So we've managed to get it, what we think is uh, at pointing at 2 o'clock. You see this part here? So that shadow there tells us it's just after 2. So we've got, oops, now I've just bumped it. So what we've got to do is wait for the red um, part to finish pointing north. As it settles, there we go. So now the only thing we've come to realise is it's currently currently daylight savings time. So it is actually three o'clock by my watch, just after three. But according to this, it's just after two. So what we're going to do is we might leave it for an hour. What do you reckon, Joe? We'll come back in an hour and have a look. Yeah. Yeah? We'll let you guys know. So it will be interesting to see how it goes. So, and also, it's got a date along here. So you can actually change it to whatever month it is. So today is actually January the 11th. So I have moved the um, date pointers along. So it tells us what today's date is. So, all right, we'll leave it for now for an hour. And hopefully the cat or the dog don't decide to knock it for us. And yeah, we'll see you back in an hour. Yeah, so. Welcome back to Kiwi Kid. So what we've done is we actually left it for two hours um, because somebody was playing with his Lego. Um, and it's saying that it's just about four o'clock. Um, we do think it hasn't factored in our daylight savings where we put our clocks forward an hour in the summer so my watch says it's about uh, five well about 10 minutes to five so it's nearly four o'clock according to this but if we factor in daylight savings it would be about 10 to four so and uh, i think it was a win i think this is a pretty good accurate sundial yeah it works once you factor in daylight savings but that's okay so all right and we get part of the compass now. Yay. So, thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.